All right, welcome back everybody to Axton Mill Works. Uh, we're going to go over a little problem I was having here. Anybody got one of these mills, maybe run into the same problem. Wasn't real sure about how this clutch worked. So I would let my log down or let it down and adjust it. And then when I'd squeeze my handle to activate the, the, the clutch and the, and the throttle, the thing would dro drop down sometimes an inch, inch and a half or two on me. So I decided to take this thing apart and I figured out once I took it apart, it made sense how it works. So uh, we're going to go through this right here and uh, see if I can explain how this thing works. All right, first thing you want to do is run your mill up and put your pins in because when you take... Uh, when you take this clutch loose, the mill's gonna drop. So make sure you get your pins in place. There we go. All right, once you got your pins in place, go ahead and drop it down, dump your pressure. So we're loose here now. First you want to take your end nut off, it just holds the handle on. And after taking it apart, it made sense how it works. And I'm going to show you that too before we get to the end. So this handle just screws on. And there's a ring inside that, that drives the nut. So the first thing I did, there were a few burrs on this thing, so I just took a file lightly around it. You can see it's kind of scratchy. Just to make sure there's no burrs, you can kind of see where it was cut. So just to make sure there. Got a big washer here. I don't see anything wrong with it, but I same thing I did run my and then your big plate here, make sure same thing I ran my file or off it. Make sure there weren't any odd surfaces sticking up. Just uh, light. You don't wanna you don't wanna really cut it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a few scratch marks. And you can see where the there were burrs on the teeth. So and there was a little little spot on that. And there's a there's an actual bush in there. Yeah, look, that one's got some it's like little pieces of metal stuck in it. Yeah, it looks like something was on that plate. Just clean it all up. And I'm gonna put just a just a touch of grease in here because it does run on the shaft. It actually spins on here. So basically that's not a lot to the thing, but and what I found seemed like you want to put a little bit of lube here just on the threads don't get it on anything else because it'll make it slip only on the threads so like i said as you can see this handle just threads on so when you actually raise it it's locking it so when you back it down it actually unscrews enough to let it let everything slip. So, let's see, you can see it. As I'm backing off with it, see it just it just breaks that nut loose just enough to let it freewheel down. 
Okay, we pulled our pins out. So, okay, I'm running it down, which is letting the clutch slip. So I'll bring it down to whatever, but if I want a 12 inch cut now, I want to bring it back up. And that's what locks it in place, is running the handle back up, running, running it up to your number. Or, well, excuse me, down to your number on the gauge here, but you're actually lifting the mill. So, if I, I'm at 13 inches, if I want a 13 inch cut to lock it, I'm going to run it back down to below 11. And then click it up and uh, your little dogs are what's set so you'll make sure they're lined up on the numbers that's what's supposed to cut your sixteenths okay once you get all your clutch adjustment and cleaned and the and the main shaft lubricated once you've dumped the pressure you're gonna have to wind your meal all the way back down to the bottom and uh, look at your cables See, mine over wrapped there, so it's lifting a quarter inch more than what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to have to drop it all the way back to the bed and uh, make sure my cables roll back up straight again. Alright, so there you go. Once you get it all dropped down, run it up and down a few times. Make sure your cables are rolling on like they're supposed to. Um, if you're having a problem with them rolling up properly, you need to adjust these left or see this one's fairly straight back and this one's leaned off to the side a little bit so if you're having problems with them not rolling up properly uh, adjust which which way this faces um, this one rolls up from outside um, so it needs to be a little closer in and this one's kind of more of a straight up of an angle it's rolling a little tighter so i turned it out to pull it out a little bit more so hopefully this helps if you're having problems like these or you, with your clutch or your cable adjustments good luck and happy milling thanks for watching